Welcome, welcome. Today we are working on the EBAC 320 hydraulic system. So this is the yellow hydraulic system compartment and today we are working on this baby right here. That is the hydraulic system power accumulator. Okay, now let's look at uh, our unit. So now we come down here, you look at the accumulator power yellow 3070. That's the fin number. That's to confirm the location. That's our power gauge, charging valve and the accumulator body. That's where we charge our accumulator. So first of all, we need to check the pressure. So for us to check the pressure, we need to a reference chart. That's the one on top there. So today our temperature is around 20 degrees. So we are looking, we need a pressure of around 1,000, 1,900 PSI. So we need to check our pressure again and check if we have that. So here we look at our pressure, we have 1,200, which is low and hence we need to charge our accumulator. So now we come back here. This is, we need 1,900 pounds per square inch and our, our temperature is 20 degrees celsius so now we need to open the cap and connect our equipment to charge it so we loosen the cap and we plug in our charging equipment and we need to top it up to our target 1900 psi so yes that's our charging port that's our gauge once, once again uh, so let's plug in this baby and top it up okay so while we're at it let's talk about hydraulic system power accumulators what are they and what do they do what's the significance of them in the hydraulic power system so the story about the accumulator starts with the hydraulic pump because uh, what happens is when you look at a basic hydraulic system you've got a hydraulic pump that pumps in hydraulic fluid to hydraulic system actuators that you do the work so what happens is the hydraulic pump has demand periods whereby you have got a lot of user systems working at one period and and there are moments where the hydraulic pump uh power fluctuates as a power as a pump adjusts to the required demand so in those moments that's when the hydraulic power accumulator kicks in and what the accumulator has basically is uh structure wise it's basically a, a bladder and behind the bladder is uh, uh, uh pressurized nitro uh, nitrogen so what it does it continually keeps pressure in the system so that you avoid these uh, pulses or how can I put it, uh, yeah, basically it is a dampener. So let's get back to what we're doing now. We're loosening the charging valve just to uh, start the process. So far the setup has been done equipment wise. So now we loosen the charging valve and we open it. We slowly open it and this allows uh, pressurized uh, nitrogen to uh, start uh, charging. So now we are starting from 1200, slowly going up. Our target is 1900. So yeah, so while we are doing the charging, the, the pressure accumulator, what it does basically, it acts as a dampener like I said before. It makes sure those small pulses that happen when the hydraulic pump is adjusting to demand, they are dampened out and uh, we have a constant power supplying in, in, in the system. So yes, so now we are going up. So if you look at the, the graduation in the power kit, the bigger ones are in, in the in, in the hundreds and in the fifties. So now we are at we're now approaching this is now 1600, 1650, 1700 psi pounds per square inch. So our target is 1900. So the setup I've already done in terms of the equipment to just to save time and avoid unnecessary um okay to shorten the video i just did that setup uh, earlier on so now we are at 1800 psi 1850 1900 so what we normally do after this is to keep the the the, the pressure supplied for one minute for the pressure in to the for the pressure to adjust and then after that we will disconnect so this is now 1900 yes yeah, so i'll, I'll cut the, the, the one minute for the um, stabilization of the pressure so now once everything is stabilized we start to um close the the, the, the charging valve yes and then after that we should apply a, a torque of around 60 inch pounds which i'll do uh, once we disconnect the equipment so now we just yeah we just uh, closing the valve so yes so after this we just took the connections uh, disconnect the equipment uh, do a leak check just to make sure that there's no leak coming from the charging valve and then we are good to go so basically before you do this process there are also some procedures that you need to do you need to make sure that the hydraulic system pumps are not pressurized and just generally a warning notices that are given to everyone that this job is being done because you don't want the system to be uh hydraulic system to be to pressurize while you are going through this process because it uh it will pressurize the accumulator to 3000 psi so basically yeah this is just warning so now we just disconnect the equipment 
and uh, we check for tools and basically that so basically this is what we do to uh to, sub to charge or replenish the power accumulator with nitrogen and now we just take a look once again at the gauge and we close the the valve cap so we have three of these this power accumulators one for the yellow one for the blue hydraulic system and one for the green hydraulic system so these are located at different areas and since the systems are independent you need to do the same procedure if you are to uh, charge your other accumulators so thank you so much for watching this is aircraft engineered like and follow for more and please make sure you mention the comment what you want us to do next ciao